Welcome back. You're watching the Money Show with me, Kavita Thapleyal, and time to get our viewers connected and have their live uh, uh, questions answered. And uh, today I have uh, with me Gautam Kalia, and uh, Gautam Kalia will be uh, answering all your uh, financial planning questions today. And uh, do I have my first viewer uh, online with me? Okay, I don't have my viewer connected live on the phone call. But then let's take Lashmi Larayan's question and. Uh, Gautam, I think you have the details. He has HSBC small cap, PPFS flexi cap, Penara Baiko blue chip, DSP multi cap, SBI energy opportunity, SBI magnum. And uh, he is also holding sovereign gold bonds, RBI bonds, fixed deposits, Ukanya Samridhi. And um, he wants to invest some more in Nifty index apart from what is what he is doing right now. Annual income is almost 11 lakhs and uh, 1 lakh was invested lump sum and uh, below I think is the average investment amount that he is given in the funds. Alright, so we don't have him on the phone line but then uh, what will be your recommendation for him? So uh, first I want to say uh, well done for having such a good uh, diversified portfolio to Lakshmi Narayan. He's got uh, investments in uh, sovereign gold bonds, fixed deposits bonds as well as a good bouquet of uh, mutual fund uh, schemes, uh, so well diversified portfolio. Uh, one thing that I'm seeing a little bit uh, more often now is a bias towards uh, small and mid cap in the portfolio, so that's something that we're trying to address uh, and which is something that uh, Lakshmi Narayan is also trying to address because he wants to invest additional money in uh, Nifty, uh, in the index, uh, in the large cap index, so that's good. Uh, so, as far as schemes are concerned, I think uh, everything is fine. DSP Multicap and SBI Energy Opportunities Fund are new schemes. Uh, so, our research doesn't have a view on these schemes. So, it's better to review these after a year uh, based on their performance. Uh, the uh, uh, Parag Parik FlexiCap Fund that uh, Lakshmi has is about 1 lakh rupees, which uh, is a large uh, sum there. And from an allocation perspective, maybe some of that money should be shifted in the blue chip large cap space. So maybe reduce that by 25,000 and move that into an existing scheme like you have the Canara Rebecca blue chip fund, or you can move it into a Nippon India index fund Nifty 50 plan, uh, which will also meet your requirement of uh, investing in an index fund. Uh, so uh, that's the only uh, suggestion that I have. Otherwise the portfolio looks like all right, I also have Dharnesh, our uh, live viewer on the phone line. Dharnesh, hi, uh, good evening and thank you so much for sending us your question. I can see you have really done a good amount of research across market caps, looking at the exposure of the fund and uh, in the benchmark as well. I think based on this research, you have uh, Nippon India Nifty 50 Value 20 Index Fund, you have Access Small Cap, uh, UTI Nifty 200 Momentum, uh, you have Quant ELSS, you have Mutla Loswal NASDAQ uh, uh, Fund of Fund and you have SBI Quant. And uh, apart from what you've sent us, anything else you want to add to this question? Uh, not much to the question. Like, uh, okay. the only thing that I really wanted to know sure. is that if there are any, uh, you know, hidden risks in this portfolio or is this fine in terms of, you know, I really researched myself into sure. putting this funds yeah. into my portfolio, but just still yeah. wanted to get an expert advice on what it is, basically. Sure. Sure. We'll get your fund mix also checked. So, Gautam? Uh, uh, I think kudos to his research in the first place and uh, after doing that research, uh, the portfolio that he's created for himself, your takes on it? So uh, it's a good portfolio, uh, you know a lot of people look at it category wise, uh, cap wise but uh, he split it predominantly uh, investment strategy wise so that's also a way to go and uh, I think the portfolio is quite good. Uh, the only uh, suggestion I would have is that obviously there is no allocation to other asset classes. That's something that uh, you know Dharmesh can consider because he said in his question that he's not very happy with their returns. But uh, that's something that he should consider as far as uh, building uh, a more robust portfolio is concerned. And the second thing I'll say is that uh, he's got ex uh, investing in the NASDAQ 100. Uh, now NASDAQ 100 is a tech heavy index. Uh, so, uh, you may be better off going in for a S&P 500 index, uh, which will give you more diversification. So, that's something to consider. You can go for the same uh, fund house, which uh, takes uh, 
uh, SIP right now. It doesn't take lump sum, but you can invest through SIP in that. Right, with that, it's a time up on the show today. Thank you so much, Gautam, for being on the show and helping our viewers with their financial portfolio queries. And in case you want to also ask your question on our platform uh, to our experts, you can do that. Via, uh, you can send us your question through our WhatsApp number and email ID and we can get your questions answered by our experts live. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.